Sometimes the easiest way to get pieces to the ground doesn't involve any rigging at all. This is sometimes called cut and chuck. Other times, a sling is added to make the branch a little easier to handle or control. Most of the time, we prefer to establish a rigging point above the limb to be removed. We have two basic options for establishing rigging points. We can use a natural crotch, or we can install a false crotch. If we are installing a false crotch, or perhaps a friction device, we have several methods for attaching equipment to the trees. We can use a dead eye sling with either a cow hitch with a better half, or a timber hitch. Or we can use a rope tool such as a loopy that can be girth hitched to a stem, then adjusted to remove the slack. Or a whoopee sling, which is an adjustable rope sling designed for anchoring hardware to a tree. We also have to decide what methods we'll employ to control the friction in the rigging line. Friction is a key in controlling loads and rigging, and we have several choices of how to use it. We can take wraps on the trunk, although the friction is inconsistent, it causes wear on the ropes, and is awkward to change and reset. Lowering devices offer alternatives to these drawbacks with the additional ability to help in raising wood. We will be using a variety of friction devices throughout the series, and we'll look at the advantages and limitations of each. Once the equipment has been selected and set up, we will be ready to tie off the limb or section to be removed. To do this, we have a choice of methods. Most of the time, we will use knots, usually either a clove hitch, backed up with at least two half hitches, or a running bowline. Sometimes we girth hitch an eye, spliced in the end of the rigging line. Often we add a marlin hitch or a half hitch with one of the above, and we will be discussing why and how this is done. Other alternatives for tying off sections include loopies or whoopie slings, webbing slings, and various types of slings with a connector, such as a carabiner or a quick link or a shackle. Each has its advantages and limitations. With the section tied off and the load line run through a rigging point above the work, there are several different techniques for removing limbs. We can butt tie the piece, tying it off near where it will be cut. We can tip tie and drop the piece, tying it near the tip and allowing the butt end to drop when the cut is made. Or we can tip tie and lift the piece by tying it off near the tip, making a face notch and back cut while the tip is lifted by ground workers. Sometimes we need to remove a limb without dropping either the butt or the tip. In those cases, we can rig it so it is balanced, then lowered to the ground. And with any of the techniques we use, we can add a tag line or a pull line for extra control.